Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. I'm going to do a Leo reading and try to snap through these so I can do some eclipse readings tomorrow. Because that happens on November 8th. So that's bringing in the energy of kind of clearing away karma. Um, wrapping things up, tying all those loose ends up, and then just releasing so you can move on to the next phase. And I think this is automatically going to speed up the karmic process. So like if you do a boo-boo, it's going to show up immediately at your door rather than the other person. So it's going to be a hot minute. That's okay. What does the universe have for, for Leo? Right now I'm using the mystical moments tarot deck. What does the universe want Leo to know? What about Leo's situation? Hmm. So we've got the hangman here, which is Pisces. I think this is not only different perspective, but like this feels like exposing something with that zipper there. And she's, she's attached to it. So she's pulling down on the zipper. Interesting. And then you got the world in reverse. So something you're going to expose because you've taken a new perspective on it is going to turn the world upside down. Which isn't always a bad thing, Leo. Not always a bad thing. Sometimes, sometimes the world is already upside down. So maybe we're going to write it. Maybe we're going to turn the world right side up. Because after all, taking a different perspective would mean maybe the world is upside down and you're just going to expose that and write it. Like an alien. Look at you being all like bold and shit. This might be the Nine of Cups, but that screams Leo right there. It's emotional stability as well. It has... Not necessarily I don't care air, but it has like, I am cool where I am at and I have all that I need to keep my cool. So basically what this is saying to me is that you're going to expose something, turn the world upside down and just stand back in the corner but not hidden like you're gonna stand in your glory and your power and in your beautiful sunlight and let those flowers bloom but you're gonna be like yep that's right sweet i like it i like it a lot it's a queen of wands so this might be a little bit of a feisty period you might be a little bit in your own element, which is a little fiery, a little witty, a little hogging the, the spotlight, but there's something that's really important. So you kind of have to hog the spotlight, right? You kind of have to, as you are standing firm in whatever power this is, firm. And she's got peacock feathers. That's abundance right there. And then the moths. All the moths are flocking towards her light in her sunflower. And she's just looking at you like, I freaking told you. I told you. That's awesome. <laughs> go, Leo, go. Nice energy. It's bold. It's strong. It's illuminating. Sounds like a Leo read to me. What are you going to expose, though? What are we exposing? What's Leo going to give us? 
What is Leo bringing into the light? Ooh, some justice. Big old JJ over here. Like you have seen the freaking truth. You have seen the light and now you're going to like, look at that dress. Just like psh, showering that down on everybody. Like here, go get your cup. You want some? Oop, she gave you cups. Page of cups. You're listening to spirit here. You're listening to uh, a divine force. Whatever that is for you. Could be a friend, could be a... Uh, ancient could be an ancestor could be um, whatever it is to you it could be a familiar but you're you're listening to the messages that spirit is bringing you intently and that's how you stepped into this power okay and then you've got the ace of cups overflowing but notice how she's only looking at this one you're focused here Whatever this is, is, is going to probably cause chaos all around you, but you've got your eye on the prize. You know which one you want and you're not, you're not budging. You are not budging from your one lantern that you are beaming out. Nice, Leo. Freaking sweet. It doesn't tell us it. it's an emotional message and it is going to blow something up. Let's, uh, let's grab a star dragon. Let's see what we do with that. What does the universe want Leo to know about the messages being brought forth and the exposure? This is, this is not, you're still emotionally independent from this, even though, I mean, and then you've got, you you got the Ten of Cups here, so you're plus the Page of Cups, so you're pretty emotionally giddy about something, like really happy and totally. I get, I'm getting centered. You're totally like this is like you know exactly where your center is and where your source is, and you're not moving. Look at how she, I wish you could see more of her face, but she's so confident and so sure. It's beautiful. It's like, I grew this. This is mine. I worked really hard for this. I mean, I'm going to share it with the world. Cool. All right. What is... All right. Dragon. Dragon tarot. Or Oracle. Sun. Star dragon. Oracle cards. And of course, it's written backwards, so... Okay, 22. Rebirth. Giving yourself a second chance. Ooh. And then tranquility. Yep. Harmony in action. So you're sitting, you're sitting quite still, but at the same time, the stillness is giving way to something that's like momentous because of the you're sitting still, but you're still going to expose something. Like, this isn't going to take a whole lot of energy for you because you're so centered. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. 22. Two plus two plus four. Home, hearth. Center. Okay. Okay. I can see it with all the friggin' glare on my arm. <laughs> okay. How is that happening? Okay. There you go. So, rebirth. Giving yourself a second chance. Constellation is the crux. The Southern Cross. So the wisdom of the herald says, you failed, you fell, your experience, you experienced defeat. Now get back up again and keep moving and trying. Expand outward, up again, and then find your rejuvenation. 
and allow yourself to try and try again. You deserve a second chance. Afford yourself the opportunity to start over. Wisdom of the Dragon. After the death of defeat comes rebirth and renewal. With every moment of failure comes opportunity for rebirth. Reshape your life and the universe in the way that is best serves you. The time has come to be reborn into your new life. Redefine yourself in this situation. Establish new ways of being, thinking, and perceiving, and doing. The invocation is what self-imposed limitations are you holding on to as truth? Discard and disregard all notions of failure, defeat, and limitation. Move forward. Be born again into a new life that is unstoppable and limitless. Second chances are given if we are open to them. Allow yourself to experience rebirth. I'd say you're well on that path. If, if you're not feeling this now, you are going to step into this energy. Simply by being here and reading this. Because I planted the little seed. Now it's just your job to fertilize it and step into that energy. It's already in there. You just got some loose. That's it. That's all. Okay. So we've got 15. Tranquility. Harmonious in action. The constellation is Crobus or the crow. For Pete's sake, that glassy glare. Okay, there you go. This is probably a pretty pattern. Sometimes the best action is inaction. It is time to wait things out, smell the roses, recline, sit down, and surround yourself with the comfort, comfort of trusted allies. Find harmony in stillness and reflection. The situation will ultimately work itself out. Breathe. Peace and tranquility are yours if you want them. Earn your sense of wellness and harmony by actively engaging in the practice of stillness. Take your time. A solid foundation within and a quiet temperament are invaluable for you right now. Seek ease, healing, peace wisdom peace be with you now is not the time for action but inaction achieve your harmony by staying still in the world that otherwise rushes constantly break away from the fray to engage in harmonious inactivity find peace and tranquility the world can wait a while as you restore your faculties find peace okay so this is, this is how you find peace. You take a different perspective uh, and the world will pause. Take a different perspective and the world will pause. And listen to your guides. I'm also getting, you have really important work to do here. Which is why you're being asked to just, because this is huge. This is a lot, this is a lot of energy to be expelled all at once. This is a lot. You're coming with fire and water. Yep. You do this, right? You'll be able to maintain this. All right, Leo. We got some work to do, but it's going to be exciting and you're going to like it and you're going to learn and grow from it. And you're definitely protected. So do what you need to do because there's no, there's no reason to hurry and there's no reason to feel afraid. You got this, Leah. 